Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect A9N with Google Sheet. So basically, we are going to create a workflow and then we are going we are going to connect that with Google Sheet uh, so we can like get data or update or move or do whatever we want with the data we have on Google Sheet. So basically, in this example, as you can see, we have this uh, sheet called data and here we have some words sunrise, uh, whisper, uh, lantern, journey, and so on. So we're going to get the data from Google Sheet. But before that, we have to connect A9N with uh, Google Sheet. So how we can do that? So basically, let's first start the workflow with a manual trigger. So here I'm using the manual trigger. This will allow us to start the workflow. Then we need another node. So we need, uh, because we want to, you know, work with Google Sheet as a database. So look for Google Sheet and then click on Google Sheets here. And because I want to get the data, so we need to select get a rows in sheet from here. And the first thing we need to, to do is we need to create a new credential. As you can see here, I have already an account, but for your you know, if you don't have an account, this is how you can connect your Google Sheet with A9N. You have to click on create new credential. Then you need to fill the client ID and, and the client circuit. So how we can do that? So you have to go head to Google and then look for Google Console. And here, click on the first link that says Google Cloud Console. Click on this one. And here I'm going to, oops, I'm going to switch to another account, which is this one. And here click on select a project. And here, as you can see, I don't have any projects yet. So click on a uh, new project. And here you have to name your project. I'm going to name this in 9 in uh, automation. Then click on create. And as you can see, the project is being created. So select your project from here and then go to APIs and services, then click on Outcast uh, screen. And here you have this button, click on get started. Then you need to create an application. And here I'm going to name this A9N app. And uh, for the user support email, I'm going to select the current email for this um, account. Then click on next. And here for the audience, you need to select external. Then click on next. And then here for the contact information, it's a, it's a, a required field as you can see here. So here I'm going to, you know, add um, another email for the contact um, I'm going to add this one then click on next and uh, then to finish click on I agree to the Google API services uh, data policy then click on continue then create your application like this so as you can see we have created our application then go to clients, click on clients, and we are going to create uh, a client for N9N. So click on create client. Then here uh, for the application type, we need to select web application. Then here I'm going to name this N9N dash hyphen clients. Then here is the most important part uh, for the client, which is authorized redirect URLs. So here we need to go to N9N, go back to N9N, and then you need to, you know, uh, select this URL. You need to click on it and then come here and you have to add it here in this field. So as you can see, we added this one. So this one will help us to do a redirection when we want to sign in with Google, then click on create. And here, as you can see, the alt client created. Click on okay, then go to audience. 
and here you have to click on publish app click on confirm and that's it now go back to client and select the client that you have created and here as you can see we have the client id so we need to select this id and go to client id on in9in and we have to paste that here then go back to google console and we need to get the client secret so copy this and paste it here then you need to click on sign in with google and here you have to select the account that you created with it you created the, the project on google console so click on this and now as you can see i have this message why i have this message because i'm using the local version of a9n if you are using the cloud version you won't have this uh this uh this message but don't worry it's safe go to a9n app then you have to select all of these then click on continue then as you can see the connection you know is successful then you have to close this one then you have to come back to uh, google console and we need to enable google sheet api so here in the search the search bar you have to look for google uh, sheet like this and then you have to select google sheet api then you need to enable this api here in your project Here we go now the google sheet api is enabled on our in9n automation project then go back to your sheet which is this one and then you have to copy the id from here which is this one so copy this one then come back here to your google sheet so i need to save this and i need to uh, refresh the page then click here and here from list you have to select by id because here if i click on from list i have nothing so if you have this if you are facing this issue you can click on by id then you have to paste the id that we have that we have copied from uh, google sheet then here if you click on sheet as you can see um, it features uh, the data or the sheets that we have on our account as you can see here we have uh, data if i added another sheet for example which is uh, sheet 2 and then you click here so we just need to you know refresh the page let me just save this then refresh the page click here and as you can see it will fetch also the sheet 2 so we have data and sheet 2 so we are we are want to get the data from a data sheet so select data as you can see here then i'm going to test this and as you can see we got the data that we have on our google sheet as you see here so this is how you can connect basically uh, a9n with uh, google sheet so thank you so much guys for watching and see you in the next video